Hello, my name is Joel Zwart, and I'm the curator of exhibitions at Grand Valley State University. This fall, the GVSU Art Gallery is hosting a collection of posters from the Celebrate People's History Project. Rooted in the do-it-yourself tradition of mass-produced and distributed political propaganda, this series seeks to generate a diverse collection that brings to light successful moments in the history of social justice struggles. We look forward to your engagement with this exhibition and the spirit of the CPH project. Celebrate People's History was created over 20 years ago by Josh McPhee, an artist and curator who continues to seek out artists and designers to participate. Today, over 100 poster designs have been created and printed for distribution around the world. One of the artists who has participated in this project is Brett Colley, Associate Professor in the Department of Visual and Media Arts at Grand Valley State University. He'll share more about his creative process and experience with the project. I have a few posters that are included in the Celebrate People's History book, and in the exhibition of the same name, I have one poster that features drawings of Colin Kaepernick and Jackie Robinson. And this particular image is portraits of Jackie and Colin, and each of them is sort of looking off into the distance, sort of a, a visionary gaze, and sort of toward a, toward a future that they can imagine that we haven't lived yet. As I start to craft a piece, a lot of it is motivated by outrage. You know, rather than, rather than carry that around just inside and, and rather than look for people to constantly be my, um, the receptacles of all of my outrage, I'm, I'm, trying to, I'm, I'm channeling it through the, through the artwork. One thing that's true about all of the images that I make is that they, they begin with, with photographic references and that again is a product of, of look, finding these stories in the news or finding these stories in, in, in documentaries. And so I'm harvesting images from those places. I'm looking for imagery that is at once iconic and, and direct. It's going to be immediately familiar. People are going to know what it is they're looking at but I want to replace the original context with a new context. I want to somehow lift, I don't want to recreate the news. I want to create an editorial. I want to create my opinion from the news. I wanted to be involved with the Celebrate People's History Project in large part because I thought the the way that they approach history, the way that they approach political subject matter is as radical as the themes themselves. So they're taking these, these stories that are not part of the dominant narrative, and that's super exciting. And then at the same time, they're, those stories are celebratory of acts of resistance and revolution, which is not something you often see in political artwork. Like political art is often is a, is a critique of dominant culture, is a looking back with regret. Um, and that's not what Celebrate People's History is about at all. And I mean, the simplest way of saying it is that it's really easy to write a sad song or an angry song. And these are like the, these are the love ballads.